Unite Finance, the world of financial freedom. Hello, it's Monday, October 23rd, and of course, it is the time to start the market forecast for this week, in which we are going to focus this time on gold, which is XAUUSD in our platform. This week will be very interesting. We have a lot of very important macro events. So let's begin as usual with the calendar. Traditionally, on Monday, no major events or data publications. On Tuesday, we'll receive PMIs from Europe's biggest economies, as well as the US and Japan. On Wednesday, we will get a CPI inflation from Australia, Bank of Canada rate decision and Powell speech, or rather a lecture at an event in Washington, DC. On Thursday, we'll get the ECB rate decision, where we should not see any changes, and right after that, first publication of US GDP for the third quarter. So as you can see, this can arguably be the most important day of the week. I said arguably because on Friday, we will get US PCE inflation. Okay, now let's discuss fundamentals. The stock market behaves as if the Middle East crisis hadn't escalated. Stocks are soaring on the US strong macro stats and the belief the Goldilocks regime will be resumed in the markets. Bonds are declining on the risk of new Fed restrictions. Investors seem to prefer standing aside and waiting for new developments to react sharply. It could be a sign of wisdom, but risks should still be hedged. Buying the XAUUSD looks like the best hedging option. If the markets had started panicking over prospective large-scale military actions in the Middle East, bond yields could fall, and such safe haven assets as the yen and the franc would consolidate, let alone the USD. However, the future index, VIX, has hardly started moving, while stocks indexes feel good at the current levels. 10-year bonds yields are approaching the psychological level of 5%, and there's a misleading impression of overall calmness. It could be the calm before the storm, and further developments will lead to some tectonism in the market. But investors haven't seemed over-concerned about the situation in the Middle East so far. In fact, that's not true. Investors have been hedging their risk of further escalation by increasing gold shares in their portfolios, thus the 8% rally from October through levels isn't surprising. What's next? Everything will depend on Israel tactics. Three scenarios could play out. Israel fires missiles at Gaza, turning it into a kind of Tokyo or Dresden from 1945 and causing numerous civilian deaths. Israel organizes a ground invasion, risking to have a significant part of 300,000 military reservists killed and to be totally defeated. Israel surgically liquidates the Hamas leaders like in 1972 when Jerusalem liquidated some other terrorist organizations following the murder of Israeli Olympic athletes. The markets hope for the third scenario, which is the likeliest to play out as suggested by numerous high-ranking US and European delegations traveling to the Middle East these days. If so, the gold will touch the ceiling and hardly break above 2000 dollars an ounce. But if the mass bombing of Gaza or a ground invasion happens, the stock, commodity and currency markets will be raging, and the XIUUSD will have an opportunity to update its historical highs. Anyway, having bought gold at 895 an ounce at the end of September looks like a wise investment, so I recommend holding longs and building them up on retracements. And that will be all for today. Thank you for watching and till next week.